Hey, it's me. Today is squishy makeover day. It's been too dang long. I feel like toward the end of last year, I was doing just a lot of squishy stuff. I needed a cleanse. Step away from the squishies. But I'm ready to go back at it again. Some of you may have already spotted, but guess who's here? Georgie! You guys have been hounding me to get the Georgie merch out. So here he is. I'm just modeling the shirt. So if you're interested in this, there will be a link, as usual, in the description. Okay, so yeah, right, the squishies. So I've selected five squishies to work on, and I have a very specific plan for each and every one of them. We have a giant ice cream cone, a s'more squishy, a penguin, a little weird donut, and a lollipop, lollipop. Will I paint them individually, do you think? Will I combine them? The mystery, the intrigue. If you're new here, these are just used, discarded squishies that have been mailed to me from my viewers, and I like to fix them up, because these are kind of gross. So let's just jump right into squishy roasting. <coughs> Okay, so victim number one is this purple penguin squishy. Right off the bat, we notice it's got a mild skin condition, possibly dandruff. It's not the softest squishy I've ever felt in my life, but I won't complain. Except for the fact that he leaves dandruff all over my hands. Speaking of dandruff, this video is sponsored by Head & Shoulders. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The actual design is pretty cute, except for the beak, or lack of beak. It's flat, so it looks really weird. But don't worry, we're gonna fix you right up. First, I'm gonna sand him all over to help my paint stick. It didn't help the dandruff situation though. Whoa, that's a lot of flakes. And I'm gonna go around and just kind of clean up the edges and trim off any rough areas. Wonderful. Next, I'm gonna work on trying to create a proper beak. What he's got currently is just pathetic. I got you covered. One snip at a time. I'm shaping a little beak out of memory foam. I hate doing this. It's so soul-sucking. It just takes forever and it's really, really boring. Snip, snip, snip but I was really trying to be patient and just take my time to get it just right. I definitely don't want it to be too big. We don't need to overcompensate here. And a half hour later, it's finally ready. I'm taking some fabric glue and gluing that on his face, securing it with a rubber band while it dries. Oh, he got lips now? 30 more minutes and he has a beak. Now that he's got a beak, he deserves a lollipop. How are those two related? Well, he's gonna use his beak to um, so the lollipop. I've had this squishy for quite a while now. This is a lollipop? That's so cute. It has an actual wooden stick, which is interesting. Okay. We get it. It definitely has, you know, it's rips and cracks and tears. I do wish the design was double-sided, but the back is just completely flat, so... Boo. The majority of it is a very faded pink color with very clashing yellow and brown detailing. That's so cute. It ain't that cute. I'm gonna attach the lollipop to the penguin. I want you to have it. I wanted him to look like he was holding it. That looks like a staff. That looks like a guitar. That's dumb. Um, yeah, that'll work. So I'm breaking out the hot glue for this because there is no way fabric glue would hold this together. Hot glue wasn't even really working all that well either. So I tried tried it again, trying to add more glue and in different places, but it just was not holding. So I took a Sharpie, not that one, this one, and marked where the stick lays, and then I'm cutting into his body to create a little groove for the stick to kind of sit in, and this time it actually did hold. So quick, I need puffy paint. <laughs> and I'm gonna fill all the gaps with puffy paint, both for aesthetics and to make sure that the pieces are secured really well together. Once that dried, I noticed that the lollipop was so heavy, the penguin could no longer stand up. I've had quite a few squishies that can't stand on their own, but for some reason, I just really wanted him to be able to stand. So I stole a fishing weight. A sinker? I stole this from Jordan, <laughs> and I thought that if I just slice open his foot and shove this weight in there, it would counterbalance the lollipop. It didn't really work, so I added a second weight in there. Oh boy, oh boy. And that seemed to do the trick. 
Okay, I'm gonna continue with my puffy paint, just seal and secure everything together, including painting over the entire beak to cover up the little holes that are in the foam, making sure to feather out those edges with my paintbrush so that I don't end up with a really lumpy surface and covering up that gaping hole that's now in his foot. 12 hours of drying later, and here he is. So I'm starting with a layer of matte white over his face and over the lollipop, which I'm very glad that the lollipop Pop worked out because I think he really needed that additional accessory, you know? He was just so plain and lonely. Plus, they both have bows around their necks. It's cute. I was gonna paint the penguin black, as you can see here by my sketch. Obviously, it's the traditional color of a penguin, and I liked this design for like 30 seconds, and then I got bored. So, I decided to change the color of the penguin to a dark brown. <gasps> I know, I know. Crazy. It's not that different, but it made all the difference to me. I just felt like it was the perfect color for him. The black was really harsh and just so boring. Also, I like that it's like a chocolate color and he's holding a lollipop. You know, chocolate and candy and chocolate and candy and ee. Oh, I forgot to film painting the back of him. Whoops. Speaking of mistakes. No. <sighs> So I'm starting to go in with more of the details now. This design actually changed a lot from the original sketch. I wanted to do this weird dripping sauce on the top of the lollipop. It's an idea that I stole from myself from such a long time ago. And this tag is really cute, I think. I really like it. The back looks like that. Oh! I always have to drop one at least once. But I'm really trying to not do that anymore. I ended up ditching that idea because I decided I kind of like the lollipop as it is. Also, I made his bow tie look like a piece of candy. Um. So cute, so cute. And I painted the beak like a light caramel color. I feel like using that traditional orange color would have looked like he had a traffic cone on his face and it would have been kind of out of place since everything else is so soft looking. I gave him some dark brown eyes. Are they perfect? No. Are we surprised? No, I'm not. Okay, moving on. I tried to add some highlights using the light brown color, which is definitely the creepiest moment of the video. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Definitely changing that to white. I added his little nostrils or, I don't know, beak holes. Wait, do penguins even have that? He does. This is looking real cute, but it needs something. Thank you. That's it. I added some polka dots around. You may disagree with this choice. You may be stressing right now, but I just thought that it would be like a cute way to incorporate more color into the penguin and give him a little bit of a candy vibe. You can hate it if you want to. Just don't tell me about it because I can't handle that. And then I'm adding some cartoony highlights to the lollipop. So much for liking it just the way it was. It's done. And guess what? No, no, no. Dang it! Somewhere along the line, he lost his ability to stand. I don't understand. Let's pretend that that's not super annoying. <laughs> Why? Hey, this is Mariah's husband, Jordan. Uh, Mariah's super tired from editing right now, and she jokingly asked if I could record something that she forgot to say in her voiceover. Uh, so here I am. Aside from the minor issue, the squishy turned out great. So much cuter than before. <laughs> I think that this makeover is just wonderful. I love it so much. Everything about it, except the fact that he has two completely useless fishing weights in his foot. <laughs> but he's still cute. He's like a little Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka as a baby, if he were a penguin, a brown penguin. You know what, that's, that's his name. Willy. <coughs> Ever heard of the expression, so easy, it's like taking candy away from a baby? It's actually not that easy. It's like his weapon, you can knock someone out with that. Perry. <gasps> Boogie. What? Hello. <laughs> All right, all right. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so here's my next project. All three of them. Let's go. We have this s'more squishy. Sure, it's got a little wear and tear here and there, but there's really nothing significantly wrong with its condition or its design, which is probably why I've had this squishy forever and I'm just now getting around to using it because I really had no idea how I would improve this, but I now have an idea which involves this giant ice cream cone squishy. The design is not at all 
appealing to me. What is this flavor? Chicken pox? It's also pretty dirty and stained and it's just full of holes. They're kind of hard to see because the foam is white, but oh, trust me, they're, they're everywhere. everywhere. And I'm throwing in this little donut as well. It has like the, the outline of the frosting, but then the frosting is painted like half and half. And then there's just this face. <gasps> what is this design? Also, it's just kind of gross. It's super dirty. It's ripped everywhere and a little sticky. And I don't know why. Oh, lovely. Okay, so we're gonna have a community sanding session, except for you, you've got enough holes already. And I'm gonna combine all three of these into one squishy. First step, I'm gonna get rid of this cone. Um, just go ahead, keep on squishing it. We'll wait. The scoop of ice cream is going on to the s'more, like so, and I'm cutting the donut in half, and that's gonna go on top of the ice cream, which leaves really awkward gaps. So I had to bring back pieces from the other side of the donut. I have to hot glue those back on. I used to be so opposed to using hot glue on squishies, but fabric glue just cannot do everything. Get that back together. Oh wait, that doesn't look right. I glued the pieces back onto the wrong half of the donut. Donut. <gasps> oh, shoot. You moron. So I had to rip those off and re-glue them. There we go. You got it. But before we attach that, I'm gonna use fabric glue to attach the scoop onto the s'more. And once that's dry, I'm using the hot glue to attach the donut onto the scoop. There are still some huge gaps in there, so I thought about trying to fill those up with pieces of foam. Lost interest in that. I'm just gonna try to fill it up with globs of puffy paint. So I basically just took three dessert squishies and stacked them on top of each other. This is the second dessert invention of mine. I made the maca cake a few weeks ago and now we have the ice s'more with a donut. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it's cool. I had quite a few cracks and holes to cover with this one, but finally the repairs are dried and ready to be painted over. There he goes! I'm grabbing my white matte paint. It's empty. No, it's not. Just cut open the paint container with ease. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't throw all that paint away. Cool. So now we're ready for the base coat. I'm just gonna paint the whole thing white. 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 Am I annoying? Sorry, for some reason I never know what to say when I'm painting the base coat. Now for the color. I'm using rainbow, yes, again. I'm painting both the ice cream and the marshmallow in rainbow, which is interesting because the donut is kind of shaped like a rainbow, but it's not a rainbow. Now that I see the first round of colors, I'm going to make some quick adjustments. Thank you. Just some little tweaks, brighten up the yellow, deepen the green. There we go. You see how much better that looks than before? It's very different. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad you get it. Now back to painting. I just love color so much. It's just so beautiful. And when all the colors are together in a rainbow, it's just magic. It's magic. Before I came up with this, the only idea I had for the s'more squishy by itself was to make the marshmallow part rainbow, which I thought would be cute, but you know, really basic. So I decided to make it less basic. I would just add desserts on top of it to create a whole new dessert. And that way I could still do my s'more idea, but make it a little bit more interesting by adding stuff. I have blended my colors together slightly just to give a nice aesthetic look. And there we go, the rainbow portion is finished. So now I'm just starting to fill in the rest of the dessert. I'm adding a nice tan color to the donut and giving it some white frosting. Then painting in the graham cracker with the same tan color. And now for the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. So the dessert aside from the marshmallow and the ice cream, it all has very very natural colors. This way it helps the rainbow to stand out and it doesn't get like too overwhelmingly colorful. Although for some people, this may still be overwhelmingly colorful. But for me, this is, this is just enough. I should definitely intentionally make something that is overwhelmingly colorful. It would probably be so ugly that it's beautiful. I'm gonna add some hot fudge on top to kind of balance out the chocolate that's on the bottom. And my original plan was to add some rainbow sprinkles to the donut, but I decided that there's already enough rainbow. So I added a chocolate drizzle instead. Clean that up. 
good. I'm also just adding a bit of shading to the graham cracker, although I wish I would have used uh, like a little bit more of a brownish color to shade because it looks a little too similar in color to the orange that's on the ice cream, so that kind of bothers me just a little. I'm adding some highlights to the marshmallow and the chocolate. It's weird because it's already shiny, and this is what you would do to add shine, more so in 2D art. So this gives it kind of like a cartoony look. I just really wanted it to look very gooey and wet, I guess. And the final touch, I'm gonna add some little chocolate dots, I guess little sprinkles, circle sprinkles, just on top of the ice cream. So before it was just a pile of unrelated squishies, and now it's a new dessert invention that's currently nameless. This turned out really, really cool. I like it a lot. It would be so impossible to make in real life, at least for me. Also, it would probably be really hard to eat, but it's really cool looking. It's super fun to combine different desserts into like one giant dessert. I think this is my new hobby. You know, you think you're grabbing a donut and then it's ice cream and then it's a s'more. Whoa, wild. I'm really happy with how it looks. So here they are. Oh, I love them. I love them. I know I usually do three makeovers, but these were pretty intense and there were five squishies involved between the two of them. So I really didn't think it was necessary to do a third one. Either way, I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you next week. Bye!